Hello, I am Pat LaFrida, and today I will be answering some questions from the Serious Eats community. Kimbo in Atlanta asks, what is your suggested method, if you do suggest it, for dry aging at home? If I recall correctly, Alton Brown did an episode for Good Eats in the refrigerator. What about wet aging? I do not suggest that anyone ages any meat at home. It's much more difficult than anyone would make you believe. This is something that's properly aged next to something that's very fresh. And in order to get this transformation from fresh to aged, you, you must control things that you can't do at home, which is humidity, wind circulation, and temperature. In addition to that, we have ultraviolet lights that once we shut the lights off in the dry age room, kill all the bacteria in the room. You can't control that in your own refrigerator unless you install UV lights. Moisture is another issue and something to worry about. As moisture comes to the exterior of the muscle, it must be whisked away as quick as possible, and the only way to do that is with a lot of circulation. So we have a lot of fans blowing on all our dry aged meat. You need to maintain it temperature at about 34 to 35 degrees for a long period of time with no fluctuations. If you don't have all those variables in check, your meat will not age properly and it will start to rot. Instead of getting this hard surface where you could actually see even the salt has come to the surface and is on the exterior, you will instead get a very tacky piece of meat, something that is, is almost slimy. An alternative to dry aging is wet aging, and that's when a piece of meat is still in its plastic vacuum sealed package. And if you take that package and put it in your refrigerator for a few weeks, it will start to wet age the product. However, because the vacuum has taken all the oxygen away from the product, the oxygen is not there to break down the collagen inside the muscle, so it doesn't age the same as dry aging. So when it comes to dry aging meat, the only way to do it is the right way, in a controlled environment, watching all the variables that can affect the product. I'm Pat LaFrida, happy cutting.